everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. They must often change who would be constant in happiness or wisdom. What the superior man seeks is in himself, what the small man seeks is in others. In a country well governed, poverty is something to be ashamed of. In a country badly governed, wealth is something to be ashamed of. It does not matter how slowly you go so long as you do not stop. When anger rises, think of the consequences. When it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. Faced with what is right, to leave it undone shows a lack of courage. To be able under all circumstances to practice five things constitutes perfect virtue. These five things are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness, and kindness. To see what is right, and not to do it, is want of courage or of principle. Fine words and an insinuating appearance are seldom associated with true virtue. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. Hold faithfulness and sincerity as first principles. Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Men's natures are alike, it is their habits that carry them far apart. Do not impose on others what you yourself do not desire. The superior man, when resting in safety, does not forget that danger may come. When in a state of security he does not forget the possibility of ruin. When all is orderly, he does not forget that disorder may come. Thus his person is not endangered, and his states and all their clans are preserved. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Better a diamond with a flaw than a pebble without. Study the past if you would define the future. Wheresoever you go, go with all your heart. Wisdom, compassion, and courage are the three universally recognized moral qualities of men. Forget injuries, never forget kindnesses. Have no friends not equal to yourself. He who exercises government by means of his virtue may be compared to the North Polar Star, which keeps its place and all the stars turn towards it. He who learns but does not think is lost. He who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. He who speaks without modesty will find it difficult to make his words good. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. A superior man is modest in his speech but exceeds in his actions. Be not ashamed of mistakes and thus make them crimes. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large. 
The superior man understands what is right. The inferior man understands what will sell. By nature, men are nearly alike. By practice, they get to be wide apart. He who will not economize will have to agonize. When we see men of a contrary character, we should turn inwards and examine ourselves. He with whom neither slander that gradually soaks into the mind, nor statements that startle like a wound in the flesh, a successful may be called intelligent indeed. If I am walking with two other men, each of them will serve as my teacher. I will pick out the good points of the one and imitate them, and the bad points of the other and correct them in myself. Choose a job you love, and you will never have to work a day in your life. If you look into your own heart, and you find nothing wrong there, what is there to worry about? What is there to fear? Ignorance is the night of the mind, but a night without moon and star. It is easy to hate and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve, and bad things are very easy to get. Without feelings of respect, what is there to distinguish men from beasts? He who exercises government by means of his virtue may be compared to the North Polar Star, which keeps its place and all the stars turn towards it. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. By three methods we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection, which is noblest. Second, by imitation, which is easiest. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest.